Did you hear it lightning? No, but I heard the thunder. <laughs> That's funny. That first crack just about brought me straight up out of the bed. Reminded me of this song. So I just dressed and grabbed the banjo. In the days of Noah, just before the flood, when the wicked world had all forgotten God, Brother Noah, he built a boat, which upon God earth did float, <clears throat> and the people saw that they were made of mud. As the door stood open with the gangplank down, Noah and his family entered with a shout. As the scoffers stretched their necks, Noah stepped out on the deck, said, I'm glad I'm on the inside looking out. I'd rather be on the inside looking out. To be upon the outside looking in when the rain began to fall sinners on the Lord did call door was shut and night was setting in and I'll know from the window looking out gaze to heaven beyond the water spout and he said I thank the Lord. I took him at his word. I'm so glad I'm on the inside looking out. Can you imagine after all that time to build the ark? 120 years. And never seeing rain. And all of a sudden, there's a crack of thunder and lightning flashes across the sky and water begins to fall from heaven. And the door was shut. The door is still open today, friends. There's mercy, there's grace. But the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days right before the Lord comes back, eating and drinking and crossing and, and just total immorality, is what the Bible says. Total disregard for God, total disregard for, for, for anything that is holy and anything that is godly. God's coming back soon through Jesus Christ, his son. And the ark represents Jesus Christ. It's our ark of safety. And the door will be shut. I pray today that when you hear the thunder and see the lightning that you will think, I need to get right with God. I need to get right with God. I need to get it right with God. The storms of life ought to remind us I need to get right with God. Okay? Hey, there's a second verse. We're changing characters this time. You know, good old Daniel lived in Babylon long ago. He had the grace to tell the devil no. Though he prayed three times a day in a good old fashioned way, they said he to the lion's den must go. But Daniel, but the lions made him welcome to their home. For they knew that he was nothing but backbone. And when the king looked in and said, 
Are you alive or are you dead? He was pleased to hear him speak in gentle tone. I'd rather be on the inside looking out than to be up on the outside looking in. While you pace the palace floor, I knock the dewbot snore. Jesus put that lock on each lion's chin. Then old Daniel from the window, looking out. Don't you think that he felt good enough to shout? And he said, I thank the Lord. He took him at his word, and I'm glad I'm on the inside, looking out. Oh yes, I'm glad. I'm on the inside, looking out.